It's just keep on coming for UConn women's basketball, and that's without noting that they're coming back from their first conference loss in nine years. They were without Olivia Nelson Adota and Caroline Ducharme before tip-off against DePaul on Friday night, and this was a DePaul team last month that pushed the Huskies to the brink. One of those responsible for pushing UConn was Anissa Morrow, pretty much the runaway pick for freshman of the year. She finishes inside with the layup, but UConn got to work in the post using the size to their advantage. Aliyah Edwards on the catch and finish inside. Dorka Yuhas later in the first half finishing inside as well, and she even showed the range, knocking down the three-pointer, UConn up 13 at half. After the break, Kristen Williams, after scoring only four points in the first half, rattles in that jumper en route to 16 second half points later in the half. Check out the pass from Nika Mule. The no-look and the finish inside for Juhas. She finished with a game-high 22 points. And Aaliyah Edwards in transition, forcing the steal, getting to the rack and finishing with the hoop and the harm, UConn bouncing back from their first conference loss since 2013. They beat DePaul 84 to 60. Coming off the Villanova loss, you know, coach was talking about how like our immature approach to the game, not pretending just the loss, but I think that this game really came and showed how mature we can kind of bounce back on defense and the steals, the stops, um, you know, not letting them get second shots. That really helped bring the momentum to our offensive game. We can't just, you know, lose and then the next next game we're playing really good. We got to be consistent. We can't just say like, hey, we're going to show up in the second half if we don't start the game well. We got to we got to stay consistent and we got to start out the game every single every single game, you know, come out, be ready to play aggressive. Well, after the win, UConn remains atop the Big East and they have a tough test as they fly out to Milwaukee to face Marquette on Sunday afternoon. From Gamble Pavilion, Unqua Sonye, Fox 61 Sports.